Hello students my name is Alok Sembal and in today's lecture I am going to discuss about types of ion exchange resins exchange medium and choice of buffers in ion exchange chromatography So first is ion exchange resin an ion exchange resin or ion exchange polymer is a resin or polymer that acts as a medium for ion exchange Two main groups of materials are used to prepare ion exchange resin. These include polystyrene and cellulose. Resin made from both of these materials usually differ in their flow properties, ion accessibility, and chemical and mechanical stability. Selection of one or the other type of resin is done on the basis of compounds being separated. polystyrene here you can see the structure of polystyrene polystyrene resin is prepared from the polymerization reaction of styrene and divinyl benzene higher concentration of divinyl benzene produces higher cross linkages if a higher concentration of cross linking agent produces the high cross link density it results in additional network formation taking place polystyrene resin are very useful for separating small molecular weight compounds however they are unsatisfactory for the separation of macromolecules next is cellulose this is the structure of cellulose Cellulose is a high molecular weight compound which can be readily obtained in a high purity state. Cellulose has much greater permeability to macromolecules. Next is exchange medium used in ion exchange chromatography. The choice of ion exchangers depends upon the stability, molecular weight and ionic strength of the sample components. The volume of exchanger used for separation is usually kept to an half fold greater than to exchange with the ion in the sample. The ion exchanger are packed in column having suitable buffer. Ion exchangers are generally of two types: first, anion exchangers, and second, cation exchangers. I already discussed this topic in my last lecture. preparation of the exchange medium in preparation of the exchange medium there are three steps which are of absolute importance first swelling of medium which is also known as pre cycling second removal of very small particles and third equilibrium with counter ions so first of all we will discuss swelling of medium Swelling makes the functional groups to be exposed for ion exchange. The swelling of an ion exchangers is usually carried out by treating it first with an acid which is 0.5 normal HCl and then with base which is 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide. In case with cationic exchangers swelling is carried out by treating it first with a base which is 0.5 normal sodium hydroxide. and then with an acid which is 0.5 normal hydrochloric acid for the removal of impurities matrix can be treated with edta edta is a chelating agent second is removal of very small particles removal of very small particles will decrease the flow rate and the unsatisfactory reaction to remove small particles the exchanger is repeatedly suspended in a large volume of water and after the larger polymers have settled down the slow sedimenting material is separated by decantation process third is equilibrium with counter ions the structure of the resin is a polymer on which a fixed ion has been permanently attached this ion cannot be removed or displaced 
it is part of the structure to preserve the electrical neutrality of the resin each fixed ion must be neutralized with a counter ion this counter ion is mobile and can get into and out of the resin bed this picture shows ischemic representation of cation exchange resin beds the dark lines represent the polymeric skeleton of the resin bed it is porous and contains water the fixed ions of this cation exchange resins are sulfonates so3 negative that are attached to the skeleton in this picture the mobile ions are sodium cations equilibrium with counter ions is accomplished by washing the exchanger with different reagents depending upon the desired counter ion to be introduced for example for NaOH counter ion to be introduced is any positive for hcl counter ion to be introduced is h positive for nano3 counter ion to be introduced is no3 next is choice of buffers in ion exchange chromatography buffers ph and ionic strength are crucial for all forms of ion exchange chromatography it is best to readjust buffer pH after adjusting salt concentration and ensure that buffer counter ions are compatible. An ionic exchange chromatography should be carried out with cationic buffers. Cationic exchange chromatography should be carried out with anionic buffers. For example, for positively charged anion exchange resins, tris buffers are an excellent choice. The pK, which is dissociation constant, of the buffers should be as near as possible to the pH at which the system is buffered. This results in high buffer capacity, which can withstand the local changes of pH in the column easily. Following are the examples of buffers used in ion exchange chromatography and the range at which they usually work. We will discuss the procedure of ion exchange chromatography in the next class. Thank you.